Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's here. We're finally doing something uh, with uh, <laughs> considering movie night and everything. Yep. Welcome to the premiere of Heather Hasn't Seen. Yes. And, and also Renegade, Renegade Masterpiece, Masterpiece, Masterpiece Theater. Theater. Yeah. Because every, because, okay, it's we need sort to, of a dual thing. We need to do an intro for the next one. Like a, a pay- like a nice, um, well, we could, like, intro bit. We could just like, stop dun, and do dun, that dun, now. Dun, 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 you know, and have, like, graphics. Okay. We'll work on it. Well, like, have us, like, sitting down, like, have us, like, I don't Siskel know. and Ebert, like, microwaving popcorn. Like pouring it, like pouring I don't it know. Into the bowl. We'll figure it out. Like get B roll of stuff like we'll, that. We'll we'll work on it. Oh uh, well, I just <clears> meant we should probably do an intro video for this video, like to say we're doing this on the Patreon right now. Well, yeah, we, we can. Could, we could go ahead and do that now. We can we can record something afterwards of like. Are we gonna want to do it afterwards though? No, I don't know. I I'd say I'd say no. I'd say Elena's right. Let's 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 go ahead and do that now. Let's re let's mm. reaffirm and then let's. Let's just be as let's yeah. Do you want to stop the about recording this. and then start? No, 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 no. We'll just we'll just okay. use this one. <clears throat> Hello there, Renegade Faithful. Uh, for those of you tuning in and uh, watching this right now, this is a uh, thing that we've been talking about doing for a long, 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 long time. Very and, long time. And with the inclusion of Heather, uh, we are now finally pulling the trigger. Uh, we are doing. Renegade Masterpiece Theater slash Heather Hasn't Seen. This is yep. more of a Heather Hasn't Seen because we have all seen this. Uh, have you seen it? No, I actually have Oh, oh seen Elena it. hasn't seen I it I haven't either. finished it. I saw the first half hour, hour, but okay. I haven't seen more than that. All right, that's that's fair. That's fair. So Heather hasn't seen almost any of this. She's maybe seen like a clip or two here and there. Right? Yeah. I don't even know if I've seen that. <clears throat> okay. You probably have, but you didn't know it. It was from Pulp Fiction because you've never seen Pulp yeah. Fiction. Okay, so anyway... Heather Hasn't Seen is a series that we're going to be doing with a lot of uh, movies and TV series and everything. For whenever we're all together and we're doing like master, like whenever we are all able to be together, it's going to be Renegade Masterpiece Theater. With or without quotation marks around masterpiece. Yeah, because, because de- depending for on example, it's good. one of the things that we're planning to do for this is the Room, <laughs> which will definitely have quotation marks around masterpiece. Definitely. I mean, and we'll probably do those gas station movies at some point. Yeah, uh, we'll probably yep. finish those up. Yep. Yikes. Yikes <clears throat> indeed. But also, for the ones that do not have the quotations around Masterpiece Theater, we're going to be watching films that are very highly regarded, either by critics or by us. Yeah. And uh, we're going to watch them and see what the newbies, who have not seen it, think of it in their entirety. And, and I'm going to do my best not to sit here and quote an entire movie. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. But... Um, Don't look at me. Like one that. thing we're doing, right. due to copyright restrictions on YouTube, and also due to our Google Play, our Google, uh, our Google uh, uh, storage server getting taken away from us uh, because mm-hmm. of copyright reason, we're actually going to be putting this on a third-party website that we aren't going to name because uh, last thing we want is for them to come after us even more. Uh, yeah. But uh, the only way you will be able to fully access it is if you go on our Patreon and you actually sign up. For the ten dollar reward, that's what we're that's what we're having to do. It's risk and reward, guys. I mean, honestly, yeah. the more that we get from this, the more we will be able to do as a whole. Because if we get, because I saw, I've seen channels like uh, like Blind Wave, what they do, they have over thirty thousand dollars a month coming in. Jeez, that to me is amazing. And the reason why they why they do that is because they de- is because they've been able to dedicate so much time to watching all the series. And also having the time to put them on a third-party website, their own website actually. Which, if we get enough money, boy, we'll wouldn't do that, that be nice? Oh yeah, we'll probably do that if we get enough money. Mm-hmm. And um, that's why they're able to do what they do. So, if we're able to do that in the future through this, then that'll be all the better, and it'll be all the better for you because you'll get more content. I mean, honestly, it's like a subscription service. I mean, ten dollars. I mean, that's, that's just, not nothing. No, that's less than Hulu, and you're getting, and you're pretty much getting unrestricted access to all of our full reactions, you know, free of the copyright system on YouTube. So So no clip you won't get it clipped out. You don't get pieces of it missing and jumping around. Yeah. You get the full the whole video. damn deal. You get the whole shebang. And there's bang. gonna be a lot of content. Yes. Uh, yeah. A whole lot. I mean we've I mean, this is just the first one we're doing. This is uh this is pulp fiction. I mean we're we're gonna try to do 
at least two of these a month, the rate will probably ramp up as we go. Yeah, and yeah. also, me and Heather, we're doing more series. Like, on top of this, mm-hmm. we're doing Cowboy Bebop, we're doing uh, Full Metal Alchemist, and we're also doing uh, we're also doing a, a Game of Thrones. Yes. Very, po- you know, very popular series that we, that I wanted to... Would not to... be able to put on YouTube. No, we would not Absolutely be able Absolutely not. Exactly, and that's why I'm doing my damnedest to make this work as, as well as possible. Now... We are going to try and keep this up as best we can. I'm sorry if this isn't to your liking, but hey, this is the this is how this is how things change over time. I and mean, and I mean we're we're trying new stuff and seeing what sticks. So yeah, we're now, we're doing our damnedest. If you're not able to support us on Patreon, that's fine. Yeah, we understand. Yeah. Heather is is going to cut some of this down and put it on your channel. Uh, no, she's going to do getting go- cultured. Uh, okay. so, so she's going to do the after action review. I will be doing a vlog style review of the movie after we're done. And it'll have clips from this. No. No? Nate will be uploading the clipped reaction. Okay. Yeah. And honestly, and honestly, one thing that we'll also, that we're also doing is we're also ramping up the rewards on Patreon for mm-hmm. people who can't afford $10. Like we have the $1, uh, we have the $1 subscription, uh, um, subscription uh, reward. Which is limited early access, meaning not all of our videos, but a good but a good portion. I'd say three, maybe four videos a week that we put on there, you'll get early access to, and you'll be able to watch them early just for one dollar. I mean, that's we're, we want to try and give, we want to try and give you all more. That's one thing that we are offering with this. We want to give you all more. It's just it's just you know times change, and we want we want to give you all more. And the only way we're able to do that is if we are able to fully support ourselves. Like I said, if we get enough money through Patreon, I will gladly give each of these chuckle nuts a salary. Gladly. And I've already said if you get over a certain amount, I'm quitting my job. Bye. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And say, and I like same and thing then, for Ben and Elena. If they, you know, if they want to dedicate more time into this, which they've already done, mm-hmm. uh, then I'm I'd gladly give them a salary now, given what they do for the channel and everything. So it all depends on that. So. If you're interested and you want to go on this journey with us, uh, then there's a link actually down here in the description and also a link up here in the corner. A little annotation is going to pop up for you to click on. Be right up above uh, Micah's head, actually. Right about there. Yes. <laughs> so uh, you'll see that. The and magic of post-production. Is it going to fall on you? Witchcraft. Yes, I know, right? So, um, what, so if you want to take this journey with us, feel free to support us on there. We will gladly we we will gladly put on here as much as we can, as fast as we can, and we hope to see you there. We really do. So I guess uh, without further ado, shall we uh, dive into some Pulp Fiction? Let's let's do it. Yeah. All right. So that's what the video is gonna be. All right. It's Pulp Fiction. It's Pulp Fiction. Yeah. So uh, here we go. All right. <clears throat> now you, we are gonna have to cut some of this out, guys. We're sorry. Yeah. We are, but it's the best we can do. Here we go. All right, there we go. And it's on. I mean, you'll probably have to cut most of this out. Yeah, most of it, I'd say. I mean, yeah. I mean, movie clips, I'd probably go by what movie clips is put on. I'm afraid doing that shit. You always say that, the same thing every time. I'm ready, let's do it, right now, right here. Oh, come on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Same as last time, remember? <laughs> Crowd control. <laughs> or 38, rather. Everybody, 38. we call this a robbery! Any of you fucking pigs move! And I'll execute every motherfucking last one of you! <laughs> <laughs> what a way to start, huh? That's it. It's a hell of an open. <laughs> I love it. Right? Yes, see? Oh, and we- she's in. This is this is one of Tarantino's like prime works. Yeah, this this is arguably a lot of people said that this is his best film. Yeah, like this this is the quintessential Tarantino. He actually like part, actually participated. Oh no! Oh, right in the Jungle Boogie. Yes, I forgot about uh, that. I mean, he's also acted in other directors' films. Oh yeah, he was in Planet Terror. He was in uh, From Dusk Till Dawn. Yeah, Robert Rodriguez, both of them. Yep. Okay, so tell me again about the hash bar. Okay, what you want to know? Yeah, it's just legal there, right? That's yeah, legal, but ain't 100 percent legal. I mean, you just can't oh, walk into a restaurant. Oh, that's the Trice guy. Uh huh. Yeah, Travolta. 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 I mean, 
mean, they want you to smoke in your home or certain designated places. We should have shotguns with this kind of deal. See this trunk shot right here. A lot of people, a lot of people have tried to imitate this later on. Oh, it's such a good shot. Yeah. We should have fucking shotguns. The that bit of that scene there ended with both the fir the same line. Yeah. We should have fucking shotguns. People meet people. Would you give a guy a foot massage? Fuck you. <laughs> there it is. You give him a lot. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. I can use a foot massage myself. Yo, 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 man. You best back off. I'm getting a little pissed. Oh, God. This little dialogue is like between me and Chad. We fuck with each other constantly. <laughs> What's her name again? Mia. Mia. Why are you so interested in big man's life? <clears throat> well, he's going out of town in Florida, and he asked me if I'd take care of her while he's gone. Take care of her? No. <laughs> take care of her? No, no. Sure. <laughs> What's up? Hey kids. How you boys doing? Go right ahead. It's hard not to do. It's huh? real hard. <laughs> drinks his whole drinks the whole damn thing. Drinks your whole goddamn drink. All of it. I drink your soda. I drink it up. Lock of seagulls. Know why we're here? Flock of seagulls. Uh, Th this is a classic. This scene right here is a lot of people's in like this is the introductory scene to to probably your two main characters. Oh man. Vincent and Jules. It's not ominous at all. We got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Please. Oh, God. Continue. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? <laughs> what? What country are you from? What? What? what ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? <laughs> what? English, <laughs> motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes! Then you know what I'm saying. Describe what Marcellus Wallace <laughs> looks like. Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. Look like a bitch. What? <laughs> he look like a bitch. Stop. No. Then why you try to fuck him like a bitch, Brett? <laughs> yes, you, yes did. you did. Yes, yes you, you did, did. Brett. You tried to. <laughs> but my son Wallace don't like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brother. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at you! She's ecstatic! And scene. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Vincent Vega, our man in Amsterdam. Jules Winkdale, our man in Inglewood. Get chances out in it. Damn, what's up with them clothes? You don't even want to know. <laughs> 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 it's a leisure, it's a freaking suburban leisure wear. You, know? you don't even want to know. Are you uh, a little bit of blood? Uh, comfortable? And you just went. <laughs> Not good. Not Ooh. good. Oh, Ben doesn't like needles. So. I really don't. I'm really good with shots, but I don't want to see needles going into other people. I don't. Yeah. You know what that is right there? That's powdered sugar. Mm. It's cocaine. <laughs> cocaine. Well, it is cocaine, but, but yes. they actually use powdered sugar for the... For yeah. the... Powdered sugar is actually like the, the popular substitute that they use in movies. Let's go. You know, there was actually a, a separate one where, a, a separate take of that, where me actually follows Vincent around with a camera Fuck and, like, plays 20 questions with him. Uh, that's Giant the version I watched. Yeah. I actually like that. An Elvis man should love it. Don't be a... That's a rectangle. Oh, after you, kitty cat. That... Ding. That... That effect. The very nice. The little graphic, yeah. That was good. It was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished... <laughs> 
<laughs> man. Oh, yes. This is the type of dance. <laughs> Do the swim, yeah. It's so awkward. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's him pulling out his disco right oh, there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but dump, dump, dump. Watch <laughs> out. These fuckers. They're having fun. They are having fun. But, honestly, not too much fun. Oh, yeah. Because you don't want to wind up like Tony or worse. That's what you call an uncomfortable silence. No. Now, she's, she's the usual suspects came out in 95, so. Oh, that's right. That's right. That fucking Hoover. Have you seen that? Oh, oh my God. That movie. So yes. <gasps> A little too much there, honey. Yeah. Listen, I gotta go. She overdosed. All right. I Got it. Oh no. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Don't walk into it, man. You got to carry your ass. Yep. Jesus. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Don't drive. fucking die on me, Mia. Fuck you, Lance. Answer. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> Well, not with, a hero, not with a woman overdosing on heroin, but someone really needs to pick up the phone, and I'm just like, pick answer up, the damn phone! Pick up the phone! Exactly! He's here! Guess what? He's here. And what not a, only that, what a cool but... Shot. <laughs> that is such a good shot. It's <laughs> so good. Like, all of a sudden, Eric Stoll's just like, what the fuck? You don't need to see what happened because your brain pieces it together. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. I need some help. Die in your line. Help me. One one eight hundred. Help me, Nate. <laughs> yes. Bar here, and that means that you're gonna give her the shot. The day that I bring an OD and bitch to your house, then I give her the shot. Give her the shot. <laughs> the day I bring an OD and bitch to your house, I give her the shot. Gotta be kneeled down in a stabbing motion. I gotta, I gotta stab her three times. No, you don't gotta fucking stab her. It's gotta be hard enough to get through her breastplate into her heart. All right, and then once you do that, you press down. Look at Jody now. Now Jody's intrigued because it involves piercing. Jody's like, oh, she loves needles. Am I gonna kill her? I'm supposed to come out of it like that. It's all right. Count to three. Three. Oh shit. You okay, buddy? Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes another hit. Yeah, she's, she's like, that's fucking cool. I'm glad she's okay. I love her. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go home and have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that cartoon. It's so racist. <laughs> oh, dear God. So he hid it. Yeah, One yeah. place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Five long years he wore this watch. Up his ass. Then he died of dysentery. He gave me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass. Two years. Then, after seven years. It was all dignified before. What a journey that watch has been on. <gasps> <laughs> so yeah I wasn't prepared yeah no it's a smash cut with an uncomfortable hunk of metal up his ass <laughs> straight in I can't believe Another Carly's driving a cab. <laughs> if we ever do like a parody scene no, of this, Carly, Carly has, has to be, be driving driver. a cab. Yeah. yeah. It has to be Mike in the background. And she, and like, you he has to like have blood on him, on his face. He's like wiping it off. It's just like. Shit of all the fucking things she could fucking forget. She forgets my father's watch. I specifically reminds her. Bedside table on the kangaroo. Said the words, don't forget my father's watch. 
boy. Could you imagine John McClane? Right. Like pulling up on a scene. Right. <laughs> and getting out and just be like, just be like it, so what's the situation? Isn't here? it fantastic? Isn't that the greatest image? Yeah. Also, this tracking shot here. Oh, it's this, so this good. This tracking shot is considered by many to be like one of the reasons why tracking shots are so popular now in modern cinema. Yeah. There it is. Little it does have a band, band on it. Okay. How else would the kangaroo have been wearing it, though? I would have taken the kangaroo. It probably would have. I mean, Me who's too. to say the kangaroo wouldn't have had a front pouch on it? Oh. A little front pouch to. That's you know. that's better. That's better. Do not eat the. Pop tarts. What in fuck? You need to leave. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Moron. Oh, God. The absence of evidence, in some ways, can be just as indicative as the presence of evidence. Prove it. Oh wait, you don't have any evidence. I'm going to kick you in the face. I would love to see that. <laughs> I've done it before. <laughs> well, I would love to see it again. It's like it's like I'm sitting over here and I'm just looking at two, two just like, oh, you. Oh, well, it's separate takes. I mean. Uh, oh, oh, fuck no. Oh, my God. Oops. <laughs> Play with the car. Play with the car. He can't believe it either. He's like, the <laughs> car. <laughs> I mean, you know, as you do, as you do. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Is the the woman who's like, I'll call the cops. Wait, like, oh, no. and then just oh, no. A little oh. double take he did right there. Uh, wow. The trigger discipline. <laughs> I think he's a little fucked up to have trigger discipline. I think they're both a little <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> What in the fuck? God, you know what I'm thinking about? <laughs> oh, God. Hey, look, everybody. Billy Mays here. You know what I'm thinking about? What? They live. Hey, you just to Holy fuck, you're now. right. When it's, I first saw that the first time, I thought he was pissing on Yeah. Him. I was oh, like, I was like yeah. oh, you dirty uh -huh. bastard. Here no, we it's are. Actually, it's, actually a, uh, it's actually a water fire extinguisher. <laughs> No, that moment if they just look at each other. It's like, God damn it. Okay, they're worst enemies, but it's just like, they're both in a bad look. situation. Also, he's he's turned over he's turned over a new leaf. He's trying to do better. He feels bad about yelling. You're just saying that there's a clover the in the background. He out of Vince. Vince. I don't I mean, think he's you know, good a lot. Well, I mean, to be fair, he was trying to kill. Oh, I think yeah. he's chaotic neutral. Hammer. Bat. Bat. Effective. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Well, now... Yeah! Go Bruce Campbell on their ass. Now, I mean, that's not bad. That's effective. No, no. This you're not, is not about to happen. You're not ready for what's about to happen. Oh, they're about to get weaved. Oh, oh no. boy. Oh, weaved. Fuck no. They're about to get... They're get, about to get... filleted. Look at how he's holding that fucking sword. <clears throat> you kick that door the fuck open. No, no. Element of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you ask what they were doing. I'm shocked you didn't already know. Like, legitimately? They put a ball gag on him. What did you think was going to happen? There's a man in a gimp suit in the middle of the room. I don't know Billy what a Mays gimp suit here. is. <laughs> Billy Mays here, and I have just officially been fucked. <laughs> Woo, boy. That's such a samurai death. That's a samurai classic death. Is that not the most death. terrifying thing you've ever seen? Is Bruce Willis with a fucking katana? Oh, Whose motorcycle is this? It's a chopper, baby. Whose chopper is this? Zed's. Who's Zed? Zed's, Zed's dead, dead, baby. baby. Zed's dead. <laughs> yeah. You read the Bible. I swear to God, when I saw this first, I thought that was Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ezekiel 25:17. Just turn that white boy into Swiss cheese. Nah, you mother. Yeah. Okay. What also, the... there was a little error there. I don't know if you all saw it. You uh, look, look behind them. Uh, look behind them before Marvin. they get shot at. Marvin. Marvin. Mm-hmm. I've knocked that yeah. shit off. The bullet the holes are already there. Fuck this ass. Yep. 
So how the hell did the bullets Let's miss? Go, nigga, come on. They just explained it. It was a miracle. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, a miracle. I, I believe that. Micah, did you have something you seen to do with this? Well, I know you love Samuel L. Jackson. You want him to live forever. He's a vampire. He's gonna live forever. <laughs> this is exactly what he looks like in the Avengers. <laughs> Could you imagine Samuel L. Jackson's black? You want to play blind man? Go walk. He'd be like, <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Actually, actually I'm I can in. see it now. Blah, motherfucker. <laughs> Well, you gotta have an opinion. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped? Oh, what's happening now? Oh. <laughs> Trigger discipline. It's like this is like the cat for Boondocks all over again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you know what you two look like? What? Like a couple of guys who just blew off somebody's head. Stripping off those bloody rags is absolutely necessary. <laughs> Tarantino's just like... Okay, gentlemen. You've both been to county before, I'm sure. Here it comes. God damn! What a fucking You and me, gentlemen. <laughs> Tarantino, he's just like... Tarantino's just... Of course, you are a character. Doesn't mean that you have character. You've said that to me before. I have, haven't I? <laughs> uh, stealing the lines. The whole fucking part. Stealing lines. I hate you. I hate you so much. You having breakfast with me? Cool. Hey, there we go. So now you've seen Pulp Fiction. Okay. Now, I know for a fact. That you have questions. Uh -huh. Questions that you would like the answers to. Yes. And if you would like to ask those questions, we will do our best to oblige you and answer them. See, this is this is why I can't watch this movie. Yep. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Please ask us these questions. Um first of all. First. Possibly my favorite movie. Um, this movie's quite good, isn't it? Second of all... Yes? What the fuck? <laughs> did Butch and that other guy that got ass raped have anything to do with this? Well, I mean, Marcellus Wallace. That was, was boss. Marcellus Wallace. He was the boss. You remember the guy mm -hmm. that Butch took money from at the beginning of the film? Wait, you know, whenever he's when I first he said he six, was going to go down on the fifth. Yeah, he said that. Yeah. In his, yeah. yeah. That was Marcellus what, Wallace. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? Now that's Uma Thurman's he's, husband. He's black. Go he's on. Bald. He's bald. Does, he, does look he look like, like a bitch? bitch? What? I, yeah, you know. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's Marcellus Wallace. That yeah. answers pretty much all the questions I had. Okay. Cool. There's there's another question I expected you to ask. What? What is it? What's in the case? Um, I assumed it was pieces of head. No. Pieces nope. of what? Like head. No. Oh. No. That's what they got. That's what they got from the from, from the guys uh, Brett the and flock of seagulls. Remember, they actually shot those guys. I forgot and they called them flock the... of seagulls. It's yeah, such I know. a good that, line. Yeah. <laughs> they they opened up the briefcase and like it shined gold, it like golden shine. Like on Vincent, and he is Vincent. We happy? Well, Are we yeah, happy? Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. It, well, ahead, ben. so that is the definition of a MacGuffin. A MacGuffin is an item that is central to the plot line of a film or play or what have you that otherwise has no meaning whatsoever. The. Uh, in this case, the case has no real meaning <coughs> outside of people want this case. But it has been theorized that what is inside the case is actually Marcellus Wallace's soul. And the reason why they say that is there's pra practically two things. Number one, the back of his head. Mm -hmm. Because, supposedly, on the old Crossroads tale, Robert Johnson's Crossroads tale, meaning when you sell your soul to the devil, the devil extracts your soul from the base, of your, from the base of your skull. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's definitely it then. Well, so it go ahead. All right, so the internet put forward that there is there's no proof, obviously. No, no. Tarantino has still yet to this day, more than twenty five yeah. year almost twenty five years later, still has not told anybody. And, and I don't think he will, because think about what that does to the movie. Yeah. It it tarnishes it, one of it well, answers not tarnishes. a question. And honestly, the more the most interesting thing about Mark. Mark. some of these things is not knowing. Yeah. I think it was his soul. Yeah, and uh, again, like the combination of the lock on the briefcase. Yes, yes exactly. That's the other thing. That, six, that, six, six, six. What is the most beautiful thing about a person? Their ah! soul. Hair. It's beautiful. Micah. I mean, oh. maybe you. Micah, Micah oh. this isn't you we're talking oh. about. Mm. Ving Rhames, I've never seen Ving Rhames with hair. And uh, ah! so it's... Uh, he says stop. It's stated that... You know, the guy comes out of the bathroom with a hand cannon. A miracle occurs, and the bullets do not harm them. Mm -hmm. God protects them from the devil. Yeah. Uh, Tarantino has said there is no official explanation, and that it was simply written into the screenplay as an in intriguing MacGuffin. Um... Uh, the co-author has said originally it was supposed to be diamonds. So we decided that, uh, but that would seem too boring and predictable, so it was decided that the contents of the briefcase were never to be seen. Uh, it's totally his soul. Yeah. I'd say his soul, too. Yeah. Uh, this way, each audience member would fill in the blank with their own ultimate contents. All you were supposed to know was that it was so beautiful. Uh, no prop master can come up with something better than each individual's <clears throat> imagination. Then somebody had the bright idea, which I think was a mistake, of putting an orange light bulb in there. <laughs> Suddenly, what could have been anything became anything supernatural. By the, the way, uh, yeah. oh, sorry. Uh, the uh, idea is that people were just going to debate forever. Yeah. He said, I can't believe I'm actually talking about being subtle. Uh, ben, <laughs> uh, ben uh, the name of the Dick Dale tune. Miserloo, yeah, Miserloo. I, I realize that now. Okay. Um, uh, popular uh, answers from a contest run by the Toronto Star to determine the contents produced several popular answers. The Oscar that Quentin Tarantino hoped to win. Oh. A human head. The ear from Reservoir Dogs. That's <laughs> right. OJ's other glove. <laughs> Michael Jackson's other glove. Okay. The diamonds from the robbery in Reservoir Dogs. That's that's a theory there that actually... Okay, Tarantino has gone on to say that these films, at least these, you know, Reservoir Dogs, Inglorious Bastards, Django Unchained, uh, all Pulp of these fiction. films, uh, Pulp Fiction, all of these films are in a his uni shared a, universe. A shared universe, the Tarantino-verse, as he calls yep. it. And then there are films that have more ridiculous stuff in it, like Kill Bill. Mm -hmm. And that's said to be in a movie universe that is set in the Tarantino-verse. They're films shown in the Tarantino-verse. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and other, uh, another answer, the actual winner was a small nuclear bomb being what's in the case. That okay. was the winner of the contest. Are you just okay. tired or are you over it? Uh, okay. Tar Tarantino maintains that the similarity was purely accidental. Uh, although he apparently, uh, the similarity to "Kiss Me Deadly," which was uh, by Robert Aldrich, uh, Tarantino did like the idea. Okay. So, well, the diamonds makes a lot of sense because no one knows what happened at the end of Reservoir Dogs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the diamonds. Nobody knows, and except for Tarantino, which if Tarantino thinks. That's a MacGuffin that started his career and can somehow make an appearance in, an, in other films, then maybe that's his thing. No matter what it is, what it actually is, it's fascinating. Oh, yes. Like, that I mean, movie's so good. Yes, it uh, is. Also fascinating. I just wanted to fact check this real quick. I remembered it, but I want to mis misremember anything. Of course. Um, so this dude in De Quincey, Louisiana, actually stopped a robbery. He had a replica wallet, like Sam Jackson had in this, and when they were being robbed, <laughs> it gave them pause. 
And then he started quoting stuff from Pulp Fiction in no. his best tough black guy voice <laughs> and s- scared them off. He's a this, skinny white this dude. This dude. Holy that crap! Dude. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> That's too good. Yeah. Look at him. That's too good. Look at him. I'd That's to, amazing. I yeah. probably had to put on my Tyrone voice for yeah. that. Oh it's, yeah. It's amazing because I remember reading. I was like, "That's really cool." Um. And I mean. I like this movie an awful lot. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. It's quite good. It was a good one to start this out on. It yeah. sure was. I think you'll like Kill Bill if we ever get around to that. Oh, thing. you will. Kill Bill is so good. Yeah, Kill, Kill Bill. Bill is very good. But, it's yeah. a, but you do need to watch both watch, parts. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Like, okay. this so this movie is just... Like, what's the description of the movie? Okay. Uh, Actually, let me increase that. Okay. From writer-director Quentin Tarantino delivers an unforgettable cast of characters, including a pair of low-rent hitmen, their, se- their boss's sexy wife, a desperate prize fighter, and a wildly entertaining and exhilarating motion picture adventure that both thrills... And the muses. Yeah, see, reading that, it doesn't sound like anything I would watch. Yeah, and you don't go into it expecting, like, the anthology style. Yeah, it's a vignette. Mm -hmm. Like, they're vignettes. They're not, they're little bits. Okay, yeah, and and you you don't really put together until Vincent is shot. Vincent is shot, and then in the next bit, he's back. And then you go, wait. I had that these same are, reveal. These are out of order. Yep. Now, I have watched this in multiple orders. Mm-hmm. I have watched the strictly Jules and Vincent cut, which mm-hmm. is strictly Jules and Vincent, with the extended parts, say, me as questionnaire of Vincent. Right. That was added in as well. We did this for film class. Our teacher told us to – our teacher gave us these as an example of how a film is edited – and how a film is... Because you know, he said, all of you in here have probably seen Pulp Fiction, if you're a fan of film. And you're college students, so you've probably been adventurous enough to at least see it. If you haven't, then feel free to feel free to take a copy here. He had like three or four copies that's of That's amazing. And, that's, uh, that's the way you do that. Yeah, and he, said, and he said, when you watch it, what I want you to do is write down how it made you feel. People, you know, those of you in here who have seen it, write down how, you made, how that film made you feel. And then... I have several other cuts of the film. One I call the one I call the uh, Jules and Vincent cut. Mm-hmm. One I call the chronological cut, mm-hmm. which is everything in order. Yep. And then one, which was a very weird cut, the Marcellus Wallace cut, Ooh. which only showed the parts of Marcellus Wallace. Interesting. So. Like all of them, even the parts that he wasn't central to the story, like the Jules and Vincent part, mm-hmm. where he was taught we you know, the buying situation, where he was talking to uh, Jules on the phone. Yeah. And I watched all of these in their order, and I was just like, the editing of the film makes a lot of difference because how these are presented, you take more in in the anth- anthology order. Yeah. In yeah. the anthology order, you take in more of the story and you grow more attached to the characters. That's just like, if you would have never seen Vincent Vega and he would have gotten gunned down by Butch, you would have never seen, you would have never felt anything. Correct. But when you saw it was Vincent Vega. When you saw it was the person <laughs> that you were rooting for to save Mia Wallace's life, and all of a sudden, <laughs> dead. Yeah, I mean it. It brings a whole new level of depth to the whole scene. Not to mention, I mean, you look at the some of the character compositions. These characters, in a lot of ways, cannot be described as either good or evil. Mm-hmm. No, they are no. human. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Vincent. Vincent screws up. Big. Vincent uh, Vincent saves Mia's life. Vincent kills people for a living. Yes. There's depth. There is. But I'll... he also didn't want to get killed by her husband. Correct. So it might have been selfish. Well, yes. well, also, he, I guess maybe in some way he felt he had to save Mia because he'd grown attached to her over that evening to some degree because and they... Sp- you Go can ahead. see that. You can see, you know, it's it's never explicitly stated. It's very subtle. And in some interpretations, I'm completely wrong, which is fine, because that's, that's what film is about. It's what narrative storytelling it's, is about. Yeah, it's not yeah. necessarily I mean, film. not just film, yeah. Yes. I mean, so it's, it's artistic interpretation. I just, 
you know that feeling when you leave a movie theater and your life has just kind of been changed a little bit and you're just like holy shit am i alive is this yeah 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 you have yeah. A, you'll have that feeling you'll have that feeling long after you watch this film and you'll come back to this film later on if you ever watch it again. Oh, I will. And you'll be watching things and be looking for things that... And you will notice something completely different. Exactly. Something... Go ahead. Question. You said you ruined Pulp Fiction for somebody, and at the time I didn't know anything about Pulp Fiction, so I didn't want to know. What did you ruin? What did you tell somebody? I said... I said... I I was on a roll with this guy. Uh -huh. I was getting him hyped for it. And I said, and it's so shitty whenever John Travolta gets kept... Oh... oh. Oops. Well, but here's the thing. I don't think you've ruined the film for him because you still you know. still get the realization I, I, this I, is shot out of order. Well, I know, but still, it's just he he knew what to look for. He was waiting for it the entire time. Yeah. And I was just like, and I was just you like, don't expect the the top build character to die in the middle of the movie. Exactly. What, what appears to be the main character. Yeah. yeah. Well, him and Sam Jackson both got both are lead, the lead actors. Right. Tarantino's gone on to state that that Jackson and Travolta, the lead switches between them. Oh, absolutely. Because, it does. So uh, go ahead. There's no more of these. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Like, there's no um. Like, how did he end up in that guy's house, and where is the other guy? Uh, Jules. Yeah, Sam Jackson wasn't in Bruce Willis's apartment. No, right. We don't know where he is. Uh, no, Jules there's no quit. more of these. Now, Jules quit. Jules, is, Jules Jules quit. That this was his after. plan. That is well after the robbery at the coffee shop. Because well, that's at least there? one or two days later. Well, because Vega was because in one Bruce of the Willis, hitmen. Bruce Willis was there to had an arrangement with Marcellus Wallace okay, okay. to throw the fight. He did not do so. You already forget? No, I was trying to say, like, okay, 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 and I was Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, thank, all right. Thank you, Childish Gambino. Um, and so he has gone back on a deal. This is not something that you do in the case of most gangsters, including Marcellus Wallace, <laughs> who may or may not be an agent of the devil now. Who may or may not be an agent of the devil, or, or the devil himself. That's that's another theory that's going around. Yeah. Is Marcellus Wallace the devil in human flesh? There's op there's theories all over the place. I think it's fascinating. Yeah. I think my favorite fucking scene was the accidental shooting in the car. Yeah. That, and he's just like, I don't know. Yeah. That, <laughs> like, it just comes out of nowhere. You don't expect it. I had forgotten. You think, you think that God just came down he from heaven and stopped? I had forgotten go just ahead. how early in the movie, like, the iconic... You know what does Marcellus Wallace oh, look I like? Knew oh yeah, I had yeah. forgotten yeah. that that was so early. Yeah, yeah. it's the second well, scene in the movie. Well, he yeah. repeat he repeats it at the end of the film as well. I mean, yeah, you in, you cut at it from changes. a different direction yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And it's just what I forgot yeah. that it was that early. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's been some time since I'd seen Pulp Fiction. So. No, no, it's fair. It's fair. Well, I've actually also seen. I've also seen like. Uh, the Jules and Vincent one, mm -hmm. the Jules and Vincent cut, had the part at the beginning with uh, Ringo and Honey Bunny. Yep. It had them, it had the two shots side by side, and they actually sync up all the way. Yeah. Like, there's no part where, like, Jules and Vincent's scene is extended or, or Ringo and uh, nope. Honey Bunny's scene is extended. They all match up perfect. I... Like, you hear the ding, ding, and that's, the, and that's one of the sync up points. I and dare like, say they were shit. shot at exactly the same time. Probably. I mean, they had second unit. I guarantee you the second unit was shooting Yolanda and uh, was shooting Le Yolanda and Ringo whilst Tarantino in the first unit was We never actually found on... out his name, did we? No, no. Uh, that's the name Jules gives him. Uh, he calls him Ringo because he's British. I mean, they're or... they're billed as Pumpkin, Pumpkin and, and Honey Bunny. Bunny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's no more of these. No. I mean, Tarantino's but, made a shit ton of movies, but there's well, no more of these. Yeah, and Tar made... Tarantino makes a lot of really cool movies. Yeah. But... Some of which I still haven't seen. Well, he's done... Well, Reservoir Dogs... Well, okay, yeah, in chronological order uh, of release, Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, uh, there was... Was it Kill Bill? Yeah, Kill Bill was after was that. Was Kill Bill 1, Kill Bill 2, and then mm -hmm. Inglorious Bastards, Django, and Hateful Eight. Yeah, I haven't seen Hateful Eight yet either. Hateful Eight's good. I like Hateful Eight. 
But yeah, I think you'll like Kill Bill too. Yep. It's really exciting. I yeah. love it. It also Uma Thurman's the lead character, so oh good. And you yeah. love you love Uma Thurman in this. Yeah, she's well, one yeah. Of say, okay, in terms of your favorite characters, who are some of your favorites? Mia. I know Mia. That's a, that's obvious. I mean, you stated that clearly. At, but who else? Do you, did you like Jules and Vincent? Uh, which of those two did you like more? She likes Mia. I like Jules better. Yeah, Jules, is, Jules well. is the fucking man. Jules is Jules is actually a good guy. And I liked um, the lady from the diner, specifically uh, because she was fucking crazy. Oh, oh yeah, she was nuts. Well, actually, she's I forgot... crazy in everything she's in because I've seen her in a couple other things. Yeah, and Amanda she's just wild. Amanda Plummer's got that. She's mm-hmm. got that wild edge to her. Um, also, I didn't know if you noticed it. At the beginning, when Yolanda starts screaming at the patrons to get down, mm-hmm. and if any of you fucking pricks move, I'm going to execute every motherfucking last one of you. That's yep. what she said at the beginning of the film. Yep. In the re- in the cutback, at, you know, whenever Jules and Vin- we see Jules and Vince are actually in there, mm-hmm. she actually says, I'm going to execute every one of you motherfuckers. Yep. It switches up a little bit. You see little switches mm-hmm. like that. Tarantino deliberately puts in for scenes that repeat themselves to see if people catch it. Yeah. But they're so deliberately small, he doesn't expect you to get it the first time, but upon multiple watches, he wants you, he look he expects people to look for shit like that. Yeah. And I love that. I love that that is in that or was in fact it was a parallel universe and it was just almost the same. Oh. That was in fact Kathy Griffin, you were correct. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Um, uh, and I think Connie Chu was the other one was the uh was the Asian lady that was there? Because they were the two prominent ones, you uh, know. I don't have her on my list. Well, although, because um, I know she was actually we have a famous, lady who got shot. I mm-hmm. know she was actually a famous comedian. She was actually on Whose Line yeah. Is It Anyway? Yeah. She had several comedy specials. I can't remember her name though. But I think huh. but I always thought she was very funny. I think Connie Chu is her name. Um, but she's she's a very funny woman. So it turns out, yes, the guy. <laughs> Who played the gimp? Okay. Uh, had a pretty successful writing career, uh, including Darkwing Duck. Wow. Tiny Toon Adventures. Wow. This changes Animaniacs, everything. Boy Meets World. Oh, what is going on? Uh, he was. He also appeared in uh, Austin Powers: The Spy Who Shagged Me. Uh, he appeared. Name? Uh, the guy's. The, uh, the actor is Stephen Hibbert. Oh, I know Wait, that name. I know that name too. I see it all over the place. Fucking hell! Oh, this there hurts my go. brain. Now I'm just gonna see him in that outfit whenever I watch Darkwing Duck. <laughs> Remember, he was a writer. Called DW. <laughs> oh Why my you god! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh Oh god. Oh fudge sickles. That's too good. Well wow. I'm gonna process this movie and um do you, an after action review. There is a lot to process here and I'm yeah. a hell of a lot. And I will well be, this uh, video has officially gone on for three hours and five minutes. So that, I mean that seems fair given the runtime of the movie. Oh yeah. 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 So I will um, upload a Getting Cultured vlog with my thoughts on this movie. Um, it should already be out if you're watching this. Probably, yeah. yeah. So go ahead and if go check not, that out. soon. Definitely. I'm going to give myself a day or two before I record that one. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, it, let it stew. You let it ruminate let it in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so I'm going to do my part on that. Thank you guys for your support. I uh, probably already have 1K subs, but if you want to check out my channel anyway, grow Oh, yeah, definitely. Good. You absolutely should check, do that. Check down below in the description. You will find a link to her channel. You'll also find a link to uh, Amazon where we were able to rent this and watch this. Um, honestly, I if you all if you all are interested... In watching this, if you are watching Watch this right it. now and it's not full, like the full version, then honestly, go to our Patreon. We have it on there. Uh, $10. $10. Mm-hmm. For $10. But you get yeah. unlimited access to all the movies and all the TV shows we watch in this series. Well, yeah, and it's because we also don't have not just this. It We also have um, it's it's Cowboy Bebop. We'll mm-hmm. also have Full Metal Alchemist. You'll, you'll see those being uploaded 
as well as mm-hmm. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction is going to be first because it's kind of like our inaugural thing. Game it's a hell of an inaugural pick. We're going to be doing other movies. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're going to be doing other TV shows that we're not listing right now. Nope. Uh, if you have ideas for movies that you think Heather should watch, please let us know. Although, no, for a fact, they they might not get picked. They may already be on the list. Yes. But we are taking we have suggestions. A list. There is a list. The list is four notebook pages. So uh, um, $10 a list. month on Patreon is going to be well worth it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. And you still got that, but I guess you can cross Pulp Fiction out of your yep. book. So there you go. So for everyone tuning in, uh, if you want to... Uh, Thank you for watching me get fucked. I mean, they watched me Phrasing! Get fucked. Phrasing! Oh. Heather! Um, Damn. Me getting um, mind fucked by Pulp Fiction. Better. better. Not great, but, but better. 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 Can we just end the video before I say something else stupid? Okay, so thank you all for tuning in. Uh, like I said, uh, if you want to leave a comment down below, tell us what you think of our theories and also what you think of uh, what happened during the film. Also, uh, if you want to uh, if you want to leave a like, they're much appreciated, and as well as uh, checking out Heather's channel. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. I'm Heather. I'm Elena. Micah. And Chico finally went to sleep. And we will finally. see you later, everybody. Peace out. Bye!